Hello and welcome to the release video for version 16 of the Google Ads API. I'm Mattia Tomazone, a developer relations engineer on the Google Ads API team, and I will be walking you through the main updates in this release. There are several new features to discuss, so let's get right into it. But before that, remember to like this video if you found it useful and to subscribe to the channel so that you can always be up to date with what's going on with the Google Ads API. Let's begin with recommendations. In v16, we added support for seven new recommendation types in the API to help your users improve their Google Ads campaigns and maximize their results. These range from recommending your users adopt some Google Ads features, like the Maximize Conversion Value Bidding Strategy or the final URL expansion for Performance Max campaigns, to tweaking settings of features your users are already adopting, like customer lists or demand gen campaigns. But that's not all. Version 16 of the Google Ads API also introduces a new method in the recommendation service called Generate Recommendations that you can use to retrieve recommendations for a campaign during its creation. This will help your users optimize campaign performance from the outset. It's available for search and performance max campaigns and for a subset of recommendation types. Check out the release notes and our recommendations guide for more information. We mentioned demand gen campaigns earlier and we have another exciting update in that space too. Starting with version 16, you can connect a Google Merchant Center account to a demand gen campaign so that it draws data from your product feed and automatically creates product ads to be shown in the shopping channel. To do so, set the Merchant ID property in the Shopping setting field of your demand gen campaign. You can also disable the product feed later by toggling the Disable Product Feed flag. Another cool new feature introduced in version 16 of the Google Ads API is the support for advertiser identity verification. This is a Google Ads feature that allows your users to provide basic information about their business and their identity. This information will be shown in the Ads Transparency Center and in Ad Disclosures. For some advertiser categories, identity verification is mandatory, and you can now use the new Identity Verification service to query the state of the verification process for a customer account and see if it has a deadline for verification. You can also use the same service to start the advertiser identity verification process by calling the Start Identity Verification method, which allows your users to verify their identity with Google Ads. Once the identity verification process has been started, you can retrieve its status by calling Get Identity Verification again. If you've been following these release videos for a while, you may remember that back in version 12, we introduced a new field for campaigns called Primary Status that allows you to retrieve precise and clear information about the reasons why a campaign may not be serving or not serving optimally. In version 16, we have added the same type of field for the ad group and the ad group ad resources so that you can obtain the same type of information for specific ad groups and ads inside a campaign. Finally, the Advertising Partner field has been moved from the Account Link resource to the Product Link and Product Link Invitation resources. This is a breaking change, which you will need to take into account when upgrading from a previous version to v16. Of course, though, this is not everything. These were just a few highlights of the many updates, changes and improvements we introduced in version 16. For the complete list of changes that were included in this new release of the API, check out our release notes. You can find that and other useful links in the video description below. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and again, remember to subscribe to the channel so that you can always be up to date with what's going on with the Google Ads API.